Yo, what's going on guys? Dr. Schwaz here. Today I'm going to be doing a basic tips and tricks guide for escape mode. We'll be discussing um, some glass rolls, uh, basic escape etiquette, uh, how to share ammo, um, and some other basic tips. Uh, before I jump into this, this is going to be a two-part series. Um, I'll have one video right here, which will be on the basic escape tips, and then I'll follow that shortly uh, afterwards with an advanced tips and tricks guide for some of you guys that play escape more uh, seriously, like trying to master all the highs like me, a couple of my friends. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into this. Hope you all enjoy. I'd like to start off talking about ammo uh, and ammo rooms. There's going to be ammo packs, stim, weapons. Uh, what you want to do is not pick up all the ammo and keep it for yourself. Uh, this is an inefficient way to combat the ammo starvation. And yeah, picking up all the ammo can irritate your teammates. I don't recommend doing that. The best way to combat the ammo scarcity and escape is you go in an ammo room. Just make sure you find all the weapons. Pick up all the weapons you need. Like a marks, uh, marks on an Asher for instance here. Then pick up all the ammo boxes. This will maximize the ammo and, and the weapons that you pick up. As long, and fill up any pistol ammo your character would need. For example, for me, for Mac, he has bleeding Boltox, so filling up ammo for that as well. Let's say you've got a Foz and a Kate. They can take advantage of the sniper bullets and the Nasher bullets for their individual characters. And here's a clip of uh, all of us sharing ammo in this ammo room, so pay, pay attention to what characters you're running with in an escape map, whether it's a speed run or a boosting run or a master run. Uh, for example, we have a Foz here, so you grab some long shot in the ammo box, as I grab an ammo box, Cleveland grabs an ammo box. You definitely don't make sure you don't hog all the ammo, uh, and everyone will be happy, which is awesome. Uh, more on ammo stuff. Uh, for your explosive classes like Keegan, JD, Clayton, Lizzie, Sarah Connor, uh, they rely on heavy weapons and and explosive weapons. So make sure you don't pick up the booms or drops or frags or salvos. Make sure you give it to the um, classes that need them. Uh, next thing I want to say is TACCOM is your friend. I'm always in, in and out of TACCOM uh, for a few reasons here. We're doing a surge run right now. Uh, coming around this corner, I am going to be using TACCOM. Um, the first thing it tells you is you can see your teammate's health. So you know if it's low, you, uh, you're ready there to hit X in case they need to revive. You can also check their ultimate recharge progress uh, in case you need it. You need to know the progress of that as well. See, I can use TACCOM and I know my teammate's down. I can get the quick revive. Sometimes TACCOM uh, will not alert you if your teammate is down, but what always works is to check the bottom left corner of your screen. The kill feed never lies. Another tip is always be sure to mark your weapons that your teammates uh, will be interested in, like salvos for Keegan or JD, or long shots for Foz, and also make sure that uh, if there's similar weapons on the ground that, that you don't combine them, you have a teammate carry one for you and then drop it whenever you need it or to make it as efficient as possible to use all the ammo. If you're doing a high score run, um, make sure that the teammate that's running the Epic Score Boost and Score Boost cards um, are grabbing all the tags. This will maximize your time, allowing you to get as good of a time as possible on your master runs if you're trying to get that top 5%. Um, with level 6 score boost and epic score boost, uh, you get 459 seconds on a cog tag on master difficulty. Alrighty, on to Sire's. Quick thing I wanted to mention here is if a Sire grabs you, even on beginner difficulty, just like right here, you cannot tap out of it no matter how many, how hard or how quickly you tap B. You need the help of a teammate and to help you release it. All tapping B will do is elongate how long you are kidnapped. For example, right here we have a teammate that gets kidnapped by a sire. Um, and you cannot tap out of it unless um, you kill it. 
or you have it uh, do enough damage to where it will die from the bleed. Just a little FYI for you guys. This next tip is if a teammate dies prior to the safe room, um, be useful to carry their weapons for them and drop it for them in the safe room. For example, like if you had a Foz, you can carry his long shot. Or if you had a JD, uh, you can carry his grenade and Lancer Geo, just like I dropped here. Uh, it's very helpful uh, to do this, especially if you're a melee character. Also wanted to mention that Escape does have friendly fire, so be wary and cautious of that when placing your shots, especially shooting explosives and stuff like that. And also, if you have a Lizzie or a Kagir in the game, they, they sometimes will shoot at your teammate, so if you just shot at me. And the reason they do that is so they get some stim. Um, like I uh, said earlier in a video before, stim gives you health gain. Um, which allows you to take an additional shot without going down. So if we see a Lizzie or Kagir shoot you, it's just because they want stim. That's all they need. Uh, another funny tip for you guys. If you're grabbing grenades in an ammo room, especially frag grenades, make sure you do not tag an enemy and escape with them. Because once you do, it becomes a live grenade for the enemy that you tagged and it can be used to kill your teammates. Just an FYI, don't do this.